Levis, 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 so I'm going to probably give you guys some movies and TV shows that you guys have probably never heard of. Some you might have heard of. But just stay tuned if you guys want to find some more Netflix suggestions and more shows to binge. Because all the suggestions that I will be giving you are 100% bingeable. Subscribe and please comment down below if you think I left out any TV shows, any movies, or any of your favorites. I would like to know and I'm pretty sure other people in the comments would like to know as well. Uh, thank you and let's get right into the video. So the first show that I have for you guys is called The Cable Girls and basically the show is about this group of friends that are like young women in the late 1920s era and during that time there was like a lot of uh, issues with like women's rights, um, civilization and women being able to vote and work with like their husbands. The husbands were like the sole providers and stuff. And the show is just like has all like a bunch of drama based on like each character's life. Like one, the main character, she um, went to jail and like the police officer told her that she has to like rob from like steal from this big company. But then she falls in love with uh, the main character, another main character who works in the company. And like it's just a bunch of like drama between all of the characters and then they all find themselves working at like this big cable company which is the company that she has to steal from and the family's like this wealthy wealthy family who has this cable company if you're into like romance tv shows like drama tv shows then it's a really good one for you and i'm pretty sure most people don't really know about it because the show is actually in from spain so they have on netflix they have the english audio but you can also watch like the in spanish in spain spanish so yeah, but it's a really good show. Um, I would actually rate it a 9 out of 10, only because there is some parts where they could have done a little bit better, like the ending. So the next show I have for you guys is called Between, and this show kind of reminds me of what's going on right now with the pandemic, but I actually watched the show maybe a couple of years ago when it first came out. So basically, people who are over the age of 21 they usually they're dying from like a mysterious virus that is going around so nobody knows where the virus is coming from but like there's different speculations so people who are still like like the people who are the lower class they all are like in this um town that they are in and like people just keep going and people's like young parents people's older siblings they just all keep going but they're all just trying to find out like what is really killing them like is it like the virus and all that stuff basically there's a bunch of stuff that happens it's kind of like a sci-fi ish show but it's also drama as well so i would rate between probably a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10. next show i have is called the shooter so the shooter is really good if you know who ryan felipe is or is that if that's how you pronounce his name and he's in this show and basically the show is like for action people like if you like action shows it's not really much of a thriller but it's mostly like action and if you like like olympus has fallen angel has fallen those types of stuff where it has to do with like presidents stuff like that then you'd probably like this show basically in the show a man who um is in the military or he was in the military like ex-military um he gets framed for um people think that he killed the president so basically he has to go there's all the episodes are just about him like trying to prove that he's not the um who killed the, the who assassinated the president or tried to assassinate the president um, and he basically just goes through a lot of um, obstacles and it's a bunch of action like a bunch of fighting action and they did a really good job with like training the actor uh, Ryan Reynolds how to 
like fight these people like the the stunt doubles and everything was all done by him and he did it really well so yeah it was really good so i would actually rate this show like a 8.5 out of 10. okay so my next show is called the shannara chronicles or shanra chronicles however it's pronounced i don't really know how to pronounce it this thing went up pause okay i don't really know how to pronounce it but this show is more on the action side once again but in this show it's kind of like 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 it's like kind of like those fairy tale-ish magical-ish type of shows basically there are kids that are trained to become heroes and do quest to save the their universe their universe their four lands and save them from the villains of their universe and their land and basically for thousands of years or hundreds of years their land has been destroyed by the villains and stuff and they're training they trained like kids to do the quest but i think only one person can be like the chosen person it's kind of like a storybook like a child storybook that someone would read to you but yeah 7.5 out of 10 it's a pretty good show okay so my other show is switched at birth basically it's about these two girls who are switch their birth hence the title um so one of the girls she finds out that she's her real family is probably not her real family like her biological family um one of the girls she lives in like an upper class family like they're more like able to take care of her and then the other girl she lives in like a, a little bit not lower but like regular class family and her mom is working um, and they both come from like different backgrounds um, one girl she's deaf and she her whole like it just it just shows like her life as a a young woman who is um, deaf as well her life was like trying to work while being deaf trying to have friends in high school at a mainstream high school as a deaf girl and they try to solve their issues with being both switched at birth another show i have is called the umbrella academy it's about these siblings who all have superpowers and they were all born on the same day but they're not related they were all born by different mothers on the same exact day with superpowers so a man that's like really wealthy he he adopts all of them because he realized he sees like them in the news of these mothers putting all of them in the news saying that their kids are acting behaving weird and they have like some strange powers so he adopts all of them and he puts them like in a school and he trains them to do their superpowers and the show is really good i didn't think it was going to be my style so if you don't think it's going to be your style but it, it probably will be because the show is actually really good it's just a bunch of different stuff. The next show is called Trinkets. It's about these three girls who are basically have separate personalities, different personalities, and they live different lives from one another, but they meet in a shoplifting anonymous group. They're like, they're all different types of people. So it's like a different mix of friendship, but like a bunch of drama happens and then they all basically just try and battle with their addiction, trying to stop it, trying to attend the meetings. And they also, they realize that like with their like other lives and stuff, they're better off being like friends with one another. So it just shows like their, their friendship and stuff. And it's just a really good show. And then the main character is also, her name is Tabitha as well. So that was also something that made me just keep watching the show. Next show is called White Lines. When I first saw it, I didn't know if I would like it or not. But the show is actually pretty good. It's about this um, lady who has her own family of her own, a husband and a daughter. And her brother goes missing. So she goes, she travels all the way to... Um, Ibiza to try and find her brother because that was the last place that he was found missing She basically just meets like a bunch of her brother's friends that he hangs out with that he was hanging out with at the time and Living in Ibiza and she's from I think she's British or she's from England You know, so she travels all the way down trying to find her brother But the dad and the, her father and her brother don't have a very good connection 
which is why the brother moved out at a young age but the show's really good it's a bunch of like romance action you know and shocking events you know you'd be surprised what happens in the end of the show but like it's really really good i would rate it an 8 out of 10 okay so i know everyone probably knows this show it's called the outer banks um i watched the show and i binged it in one day and i was honestly kind of like sad of like because i already binged it quickly in the outer banks about these three teenagers who always hang out with each other every summer you know like all teenagers do all young people do hang out every summer and you know one day the main character um forgot his name oh john b um he is in search for like their areas the outer banks treasure so the outer banks is in north carolina i believe but like they're in search for their town's treasure because it's, it's like a story that goes along with it that there's treasure hidden somewhere in the outer banks this theory or like this thought that he believes that there's treasure because his dad was also in search for the treasure but then his dad is missing he was lost at sea searching for that treasure so he wants to live live his dad's legacy and try and like find that treasure so he brings his friends along but they don't really think it's too serious because they just think oh it's just a fun treasure hunt you know while in the summertime like just trying to have fun finding treasure stuff like that so they all like trying to do that and like a bunch of drama like follows them along the way and all these issues another show is called you it's actually called you basically it stars um you know dan humphreys from gossip girl he's the main character in this show and he's basically like this guy who doesn't believe like he does anything wrong and like he really 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 truly wants to find love but like he feels like the people who he's falling in love with they're always finding something wrong with him but he believes that he's just like nothing's wrong with him he's perfect and like something's wrong with them at first he believes they're perfect like his um love interest is that he tries to pursue like all the girls that he likes but then when he finds one small like problem with them then he has a breakdown and he feels like oh they're not perfect they're not the right for him and he like he eventually he just it's just a lot of stuff that goes on this show and we find out that he's like a serial killer but his character is portrayed like so much like he's not even a bad person like they make his character seem like he's such like the sweetest person on earth he kills people because he has a real reason for it like he's actually justified like he has a real reason and that's what they try and make it seem like because the show is narrated through his perspective which is probably why like viewers and stuff kind of like feel like empathy for him because they make he makes it seem like he's really just in doing what he does but he's you know obviously we know that's not true but um yeah that's what he really does and he's truly trying to find love and when he thinks like they're not perfect or something's wrong with them you know he offs them but yeah that's basically what the show is about but yeah i really think the show is pretty good and i think you guys should watch it as well because the second season's coming so you might as well just quickly binge watch it before the second season comes another psychological thriller and it's based on the movie um i think the movie is called base motel as well or Norman, it's what it's called. I think it's called Base Motel, but it's based on the character Norman Bates, and he's this young boy. It's almost similar to like you type of thing, where and Dexter, where like they believe that they're like doing like killing people for a just reason, and they also kind of it's not narrated, but like they put it in his perspective as well of the character Norman. Like he's such a sweet boy and like all this stuff, and he doesn't realize what he's doing because. He he has blackouts which is when like um you know people black out and they can't remember what they did and stuff like that so he has a lot of blackouts and during his blackouts he often does very very bad things to people in the town and then they see like a lot of people are missing and they all keep trying to tie it back to him but like his mom norma bates she keeps protecting him and honestly those they're really really like really really close i almost thought there was something between them especially in the the way that they like portray like the show it almost seemed like the her son and the mother were like almost together because they're so so close the boy's 
still sleeps in his mom's bed, stuff like that. It's like all this different, different stuff. Like the show still is really, really good. They purposely write it like that, you know. The mother and the son, Norman and Norma, they both act like they're inseparable. The mother doesn't want to let him go to school all the time. She doesn't want him to have friends. She basically tries to like be in his life so super involved. And I think that's probably part of the reason why he has all the issues that he has. But the show still overall is a very, very good show. And I would rate this show actually a 10 out of 10 because it is one of my favorite shows on Netflix. And I've probably, I think I've watched it like twice and I really, really like the show. So I think you guys will like it too. Okay, so I know you know what Criminal Minds is, but you probably know the show or you've seen it or you've heard of it and you just never watched it but i'm here to tell you that you should watch the show criminal minds because the show is really good so basically it's about this team of criminal analysis um analyzers you know and um i think they're based in virginia in the bau behavioral analysis unit and all of them just you know find the behavioral just find the behavior of criminals that commit crimes mostly serial killers and they just go deep in the minds of like different serial killers and like find out how they um like why and how they committed the crime but they call the unsub they basically call it an unsub before they know who it is and they basically try and like analyze different people who might fit the category of like who might have killed the person like they might say this person might have been in their 40s might have been you know uh this type of race or you know might have looked like this they just basically analyze and it's just a whole team and like they all work together trying to like solve the case and trying to find out who is the person who did the crime different thing every episode you know so you can't really give too much away but you know it's just just i'm just giving you the gist of it so it's a really good show i really recommend the show is not really like action or thriller it's more of a drama it's a coming of age tv show it's about a teen girl named rory and she's like a very very smart girl um her mother had her when she was 16 so her mom is in her 30s and the girl is 16 now so like the mom basically is like kind of like living not really living her life vicariously through her but like she wants to like like she just she wants to make her child you know do the things that she couldn't do because now she's at the same age that her mom was when she had her so the girl is like set to go to an ivy league school she either wants to go to yale or harvard and she's in high school she goes to a private school at first she goes to public but then she switches to private so she can try you know improve her chances of getting into a college you know and it just shows her life with living in this small town where everyone knows everyone and you know she's the friendly girl the smart girl everyone loves her but like the girl is just really really smart you know it follows like the romances that she like the different people that she finds you know another romance you know the typical coming of age but like it's really really good if you stick with it you'll be happy with what like happens in the long run. so the show follows her from high school up until college when she graduates okay so i know most people like to watch tv shows so i only have two movies for you guys so the first movie is called snowpiercer and if you ask me what my favorite film is I would tell you it's Snowpiercer. It's actually kind of like hard to describe. The show, like the movie is not your typical movie. It's like a mix of different things like action, thriller, kind of like, I don't, kind of like, it's not really sci-fi, but like, you know, kind of like that around there, you know, action, stuff like that. But basically, it's almost like Titanic in the sense of like they divide the upper class the middle class you know and the lower class so basically um the world has like kind of come to an end because of like uh global warming i believe or something like that or an ice age happens and everywhere is like just frozen you know the temperature drops and like all these people they paid to be on a train that will go like around continuously without stopping so like basically they will live on the train forever until like the world outside the train is back to normal so the main character chris evans he basically 
is in the lower class section of the train and he wants to get all his lower class people to the front of the train because he feels like it's unjust you know it's prejudice that they're all in the back and then they're also being fed terrible like food while the rich people are fed like better food and stuff based on the story that he hears they treat them very bad like they beat them up they tell them what to do and they just don't like the life of that they're living um in the back just because of their how much money they were making which doesn't even matter because the world is messed up on the outside there's no life like living beings on the outside not even animals on the outside so you know he just wants to just receive you know justice and stuff for his people so they all just like you know it's just him trying to receive justice but the show the movie is really really good and you should just really watch it my last suggestion is another movie like i mentioned before um this movie is called christy with a k and basically it is about it's another thriller like psychological thriller it's about this girl who decides to stay on campus during thanksgiving break and not go home to her family you know so this group of vigilantes or you know uh like this kind of like cult type group you know they come on campus and you know just basically about her you know it's just a bunch of action and you know her encounter with them and it's you know it's quite something it's really a it's really thrillers if you're into like psychological thrillers you'll know what i'm talking about and you'll probably want to watch it but you know it's just like the conflict between them and that so it's just just watch it it's really good i don't want to give too much away but it is a really good movie if you stay this far along this is the end of the netflix movie and tv show suggestions if you want a part two please leave a comment down below please don't forget to subscribe you know share like leave a comment down below and i'll see you in my next video i'll try to be uploading more and i'll see you in my next video